Hi everyone, welcome to Violet Mayhem and I'm Caitlin. And I'm Samantha and we're a mother and daughter who love all things sewing. So today we're here with, with you for a Friday Sews for the 19th of July. So we've got a couple of makes to share and a half finished thing and then a few exciting plans to show you. So we'll jump straight in with the thing that we finished. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give that? Okay. So I think we mentioned last time we were going to make the Mara top, which we haven't made before. So this one's mine, and I, it was sort of a tropical print with a... It, it's a really funny colour, the background, isn't mm. it? I don't know what, if it's grey or... It's like a denim charcoal. <laughs> yeah, well, it is, isn't it? Normally, I would be a 10, and so because it was knit, and I don't really like it clingy, I thought, well, we'd cut out the 12. But it is just such a small size 12 it really is not a 12 is it and so it fits but it's quite snug the sleeves there were two options so there's the there was sort of a really boxy pleat one and then this one that's just got these smaller pleats which i think actually looks lovely it's just a really pretty detail on the sleeve just gives it a little bit of height and then Mine is three quarters, which is what the pattern is. And, and then it's got the cuff on the end. And then I've got the ribbing the same as the fabric around the neck. Not only was it sort of slim fitting, it's actually very long. So I had to shorten mine, A, because it was very tight around the hip area and B, because it was very long and it just looked terrible. So I, I, I cut 10 centimeters off mine and it still just probably sits on my hip, so it's still quite a good length, but it is a really, really long top. Mm. So you hadn't actually cut yours out, mm -mm. which was actually quite lucky. <laughs> it was, because yeah. once I tried yours on, I had originally traced mine out at the 8, mm. but I decided to make the 12 because my fabric that I've used is a ponty, so it has not a lot of stretch in it. So I thought, I really don't want it to be tight and fitted. Yeah. That wasn't Because that's not what it looks like on the pattern cover, really. No, the pattern cover looks quite a, a nice loose fitting mm. top, but yeah. So this is my one here. So I made a couple of changes when I made this, uh, just after seeing what mums had turned out like. So I lengthened the sleeves because I do prefer a long sleeve, especially in this really, really cold weather. Well, we didn't actually realise that it was three quarters. No, we didn't. Yeah. So I added, I can't, I think I just roughly guessed it. I don't think I actually measured, mm. um, but a significant amount. At least three or four inches. I yeah. Think. Oh, you would have had to have, mm. yeah. And then I actually cut mine out shorter from the start so that I didn't have to cut any off it. Again, I don't think I meant it, but it would have been at least 10 centimeters. Mm. And then, as I said before, this fabric has hardly any stretch. So I decided to use a contrasting ribbing fabric for the neckband. And it was just one that we had in our stash, and I wasn't sure how it was going to look. But actually, from afar, you can hardly even tell that it's not the same you can't. fabric. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. It's a really, really good colour match, so I'm mm. really thrilled with that. And it's quite different to anything we have in our wardrobe. Mm. But I think that it's really nice. The only thing is, when you put it on, it's quite a strange, odd feeling. Uh, the way that the sleeves are. It, it, it does feel funny, yeah. Mm, but you do get used to it. The only thing that I have noticed, especially with this being a 12, which is quite a few sizes up from what I would usually make, is just when you move your arms, it can feel a little bit tight across the this back, sort of. Mm. Um, so, yeah, it's a really not a very generous size, I would say. But I am thrilled with the way this turned out, and I'll definitely be making more. A couple of videos ago, we mentioned that we were planning on making a long sleeve version of a t-shirt pattern that we really like. So this is the Miranda tee by Simple Sew Patterns. Um, and we, well, I have done that. And again, like with the Mara, I actually cut mine out first, and luckily you didn't cut yours, because usually we just cut everything at the same time. Yeah. So. so this is the fabric that I've used. So it's this absolutely stunning knit fabric that I got on our first trip to the nest. So I use the size that we always make, which is the medium, which is again, is a couple of sizes up from what I would usually make, but I don't like them to be tight. So I make the medium, which is the same size that you make. Yeah. I cut the sleeve pretty much as per the pattern. I could see that it was quite narrow, so I did actually cut it wider at the bottom, but as you can see, it's just minuscule. Um, I'm actually quite disappointed, really. Um, 
Oh, it's actually just skin tight. It, it, it is, really, and this really fabric tight. does not yeah. have great stretch in it, hardly anything, and not very good recovery. So it's actually quite uncomfortable mm. to wear, which I will wear it because I adore the fabric, but I am very disappointed um, about that. Like it, it, especially like around this part of my arm, and I don't have large arms. Oh, no. <laughs> my arms are very small anyway. Um, so. What we were thinking is we have this pattern here, the McCall's 8277, which is like a vintage one. And we were wondering whether maybe we could compare this sleeve pattern to the pattern for the Miranda and try and widen it because, like, we will definitely need it wider for next time. Oh, I wouldn't get it. My arm wouldn't fit in there. No. Um, no. So we really want to try and work on that because we love the Miranda. It's just this is just so narrow. Yeah, it was disappointing. This, it was. I mean, it does look slim on there, mm. but not as slim as what it is. It's very very tight. And even in a stretchier fabric, it would still be. Really it would be very really clingy, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. The only thing that I am considering that I could do to salvage it is to like cut it off like there and make it into a short sleeve. That is a good option, possibly. Because it's just uncomfortable and like it gets caught on my elbow and then when I bend my yeah. arm. And... You didn't have any more fabric? No. No. But with this one again, I decided that the fabric didn't have enough stretch, so I used the actually the same colour of ribbing. Um, and I think that looks really pretty. So yeah. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to salvage this because it is gorgeous. Yeah, but. it is. <laughs> and I really want to get on to this because I would like to have a long sleeve Miranda before the winter is over. Yeah. After Christmas last year, we decided that we would like to have a few more handmade things and also be a little bit greener. Like, yeah, you know, it's very wasteful, all the paper hats mm. and bonbons and wrapping all that sort paper. of stuff. Wrapping paper, yes. So uh, in the sales at the end of the year after Christmas, we got some pretty Christmas fabrics that we plan to make some crowns with and some bonbons so that will be quite exciting I'm really quite looking forward to that so we've got six people that we need to make for so we have three girls and three boys in our family so we got these really pretty pink ones that we're using for the girls so there's the Christmas trees and then the little stockings <laughs> and the little snowmen which I think are just absolutely adorable oh, yeah me too and then for the three men's ones we have got a <laughs> I really like this one actually it's got little sand it is one. cute isn't it I really like yeah. that one and then we've got the stockings in the red and then we've got the same as the pink one with this gorgeous little snowman I think it's just so cute so we're really really excited to make those and what we've decided to do is I'm gonna make three and you're going to make three. Mm -hmm. So yep. I'll be making mum's and then two other people's. And then you'll be making mine and two other people's. Yes. And then we're also making uh, the little item to go in there as well. Yeah. So yes. I'm really, really looking forward to that. I actually have all my ideas together of what I'm going to put in there. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to do a bit of work on that. Yes. yes. So the pattern that we're using for the bonbon component is on the Guthrie and Garney website. There's a tutorial that tells you how to make the handmade fabric crackers. And then for the crowns. I saw this on a YouTube channel either last year or the year before. So the pattern is a free pattern by Waves and Wild and it's the crown in glory. Um, and that's actually a really good pattern because it's got three different closures that you can use at the back. I think it's a uh, Velcro elastic and is it a ribbon? I Oh, I didn't realise that. Mm. Yeah, and they're reversible too, so you mm. can have either side. Yeah. Actually, we didn't think about that, do we? Maybe we might need to do plain on the back of mm. ours. I think just use the same fabric, do you reckon? Yeah, maybe just keep it the same. Because it yeah. does match the bonbons as well. True. Yes, they're going to be matching. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then we decided that to go along with those, so that everyone knew which one was theirs yes. for the first year. <laughs> so last year on Instagram. We saw a reel from What a Curly Life, and she was doing a different little felt thing for every day of Advent. Yes. Um, so the one that really caught our eye was these little monogram felt sweaters. And she calls them the ugly sweaters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're not ugly, though. They're very cute. <laughs> yeah. So we've actually made a star. Not a very big star, but a little bit of a star. Oh, you know, something is better than nothing, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs> so it's got the little stitching detail to show where the sleeves are and then you end up putting 
the blanket stitch around the neck and the bottom and I think on the bottom of the sleeves too mm. and then we're going to use an initial and yeah, embroider that on there so that everyone will know whose is whose so <laughs> yeah it'll be quite exciting and I think they've come up really well because neither of us have done a lot of sort of hand sewing before so mm. but it's actually quite fun isn't it it is a lot of fun yeah so this particular little sweater we've made to go along with this person's bonbon so I think that that we tried to sort of match like the embroidery threads and the felt so they sort of matched in yeah but we didn't have like exact matches for we everything. didn't have a lot of pinks so we no. had to yeah but we've sort of made it work and I think that'll yeah. be a really cute yeah design. and then we're also going to make some just some basic drawstring bags so instead of using wrapping paper uh, we can put the presents in so we've got we bought extra of the snowman one so we can make some out of that and then I've got other fabrics left over from other things I've made so just we just use a basic square so it's just got a little casing up the top and then we just put ribbon in there so we need to really get onto those because we have actually started our Christmas shopping I actually mm -hmm. got a few things a few weeks ago so we need to make the bags so we can put the things into it, yeah. So we hope that you enjoyed our little catch up of a few makes and then hearing about our Christmas plans, like Christmas in July. <laughs> yes. um, and so we hope to see you again soon. Until next time, happy sewing. Mm -hmm.